what is going on you guys and welcome back to another video so i literally just got in the game and i was like you know what let's rebuild the astros i've never rebuilt them before um ever and i was like you know what let's just rebuild them definitely of course not happy with you know what they did in 2017 we're not even going to get into that um let's drop JV because he's not supposed to be playing um, and uh, we're gonna have to bring up somebody though all right let's try I'm just gonna do this just for the sake of Verlander's out right now with an injury so it's like it's not realis realistic that he's, you know, playing. Um, Where is he at? Jose? No, Victor. All right. Come up to the MLB. You'll be our number five. Uh, Victor. All right. Granky. We'll go Lance. All right. We'll run like this. And then we're not going to touch anything else. So see you guys at the end of the season. Guys, well. We finished 88 and 74. We're taking on the Twins in the division series. It won't matter, really. We got eliminated anyways. Um, Dodgers defeated the Rays, which is surprising. All right. Nobody retired from our team. I can tell we're going to need a new manager. Um, let's see. Who could we get? I like Joe. He's He's definitely a good coach. It's just he's going to want a lot, which is fine. We just got to make sure he accepts. That's for sure. All right. So we do got a lot of players to extend now. Our money is looking great. Now, I, I don't want to go crazy and kill it, but it's looking good now. Um, don't know what position I should have looked what we finished in, but Granky had a great season. Lance, we could do better, buddy. Um, Valdez, he did good. Hector, fine. And then Ryan, I don't know why he's in here. Bullpen wasn't bad at all. Um, it wasn't really. Ryan, he did pretty good. Lineup, Kyle Tucker, he did solid. Uh, Bregman did phenomenal. Brantley did good. Jordan also. Correa. Could have done better. Jose Altuve did s all right. Uh, Guriel as well. Center field was fine and catcher was fine. Bench was good. So, um, let's take a look here. <sighs> Bregman is definitely somebody that's going to stay. Um, he's doing phenomenal. He's had two great seasons. Like This is probably an MVP type season. Only if I could see who won, actually. Um, so, I'm going to fire my, my, I want to fire him, our pitching coach, get a new pitching coach. I also would like to get a hitting coach that, you know, could get the job done. So, um, Ryan Presley, Presley. It depends, because who's about to become a free agent? Like, see, that's something I wish they could put, where you could tell who's, like, about to come a, become a free agent. Um, oh, what the world. All right, well, I'm going to let him go. We'll see how it works out. Um, he wants 6.6. .6. It's not bad because what we could do is give him two years and then I guess g let him go once he's 34 or we could do three and let him go once he's 35. I'd rather go two club option and then raise up his money, get him 15 million to be our closer. Just, you know, just in case Granky. Granky, I don't know. That's it's just it's difficult with him because 
It really depends. He wants 16 million and he's 37 years old. His numbers are going to increase badly. Uh, like his stats already, he's already 84 overall. He's probably going to drop down way lower. Lance, I'm not going to bring back um, just because this wasn't that good of a season. Um, we may, uh, maybe. Correa, I'm not going to bring back also. Joe Smith, um, we could work out a one-year deal because that was actually good numbers. Uh, Martin, I think I'm going to let go. Um, Justin Verlander. Yeah, these people, dude. They want so much money. Um, Steven, he didn't do bad. I would bring you back, but as depth, you wouldn't be anything else. All right, well, see you guys at free agency. So, um, we're going to need to get a couple more starters. Um, we're definitely going to need an ace. I think Jose we're going to bring into the rotation. So we'll need one more, really. Um, we're going to... Hector won't be coming back. So, um, damn, we are a bit struggle. Andre, people that are staying. He's staying. Pedro's staying. Blake. Uh, Joe and Ryan. So that's going to leave us with one, two three four and five so we're gonna need two more relievers um we're gonna bring up force whitley uh where is he at yeah we're gonna bring him up i don't think so he looks pretty promising though he doesn't look bad at all this guy looks like he's gonna be disgusting all right you know what we could bring him up too Hopefully, I don't regret that decision, though. All right, Force Whitley. And then where's my other guy at? This guy. All right. So we're going to need just one more. And um, then two more relievers. Offense, we're going to need a shortstop. And I believe uh, a catcher. Um think we could still continue with uh, Jason and our, what's it called? We can continue him at the bench. I don't know. I'm in debate right now um, with um, – where the hell was Michael Brantley? Totally forgot about him. Oh, they got him playing left. All right. Um, just needed to do some adjustments real quick. That's fine. So, um, we're going to need a new shortstop. Like I said, catcher. A starter and then two relievers so I'm gonna make a tr trade um, real quick well you know what actually I forgot we're not gonna need a catcher because we got one of the top prospects um, from my understandings and Corey Lee who looks like he will be phenomenal he's 6 to 22 a potential 78 overall I think we'll bring him up We'll add him to our roster. He'll be our catcher, which is good because that saves us a lot of more money. Um, so, you know, really all we got to worry about now is a shortstop. I don't, th he's not switch hitter. He's just the righty. Um, also, like I said, I'm going to, I want to get a new second baseman. Altuve is starting to decline and getting a lot of money. He's getting paid a lot. Also would like a first baseman. I just got to figure out which trade could we possibly do that can land us something well. I don't know. I'm seeing some trades that I like. With the Orioles, maybe. 
All right. So we're gonna try. Th we're gonna do this glitch. Um, we'll go with um. Trey Mancini make a trade. Wow, they don't want nothing for him. Um. Dude, I don't want to get rid of Michael Brantley. He's still doing good. I think we can hang on to him for a little bit. Um, this is going to be the problem. Wait, was it him? No, it was this guy. No, it was the first baseman. All right, for now, we'll do just Jose. All right, um, we'll do that trade. And let me explain before anybody goes crazy. Let me explain. So what we're going to do is we'll be putting um, Mancini at 65. All right. So what we'll do is we'll put Kyle Tucker as our center fielder. Straw will be our second baseman. He will be our second baseman. And um, let's see. Mancini will be in right. Um, this one, I don't know how we're going to work out here. That's righties with no DH. All right. He can sit out for that one. We can put him in to be our second baseman. And then here. All right, we'll do that. And then we'll put him in to be our second baseman. Uh, here, I think who we can drop versus lefties is Michael Brantley. And... Uh, Actually, let's put Michael Brantley in there. And then we could put Straws, our second baseman. Jordan can stay. And then we'll go from there. So I think we'll roll like that. Just because um, it's not bad. And then we did shed a lot of money off of Altuve. So we're going to roll like that. Um, Mr... Straw will be our second baseman now. Um, hopefully he can do better. His stats did drop a lot, though. I definitely noticed that. Damn. A lot. I don't know, really. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong guy. What the hell? Um, the hell is this? Uh, you're 30 years old, 77 overall. All right. I was like, wait, hold on. His numbers declined badly. All right. So he'll be our second baseman. And then let's do the last trade for first base. And Mr. Where is he at? Ryan, he's young too, which is great. He's only 23. Dude looks like he's going to be great. Uh, this is probably going to be where the problem is. Uh, they're, oh, wrong guy. I should have probably done the opposite. Um, damn, this is where I screwed up. Uh, maybe starters. It's that we don't got anybody, anybody at all. All right, so we got to figure out something different. Um, Max wouldn't be bad. CJ, maybe? No. I don't think that's a big of an upgrade. I would like Colin. Um, Anthony Rizzo, maybe he did. He is not doing that good though. Uh, uh, 
You know what? We'll come back to it. That's what we'll do. We'll come back to it. We'll leave Guriel for now standing there. Let's look at free agency right now. Take a look. Um, oh, yeah. We got to offer Mancini. Yeah, that's the only thing with that. You got to make sure you offer them because if not, you're screwed. Ooh. Damn, that's great numbers. Maybe we could trade Guriel for crap. Or maybe get more star uh, relievers out of him. And maybe do a big trade. Like an Adam Ottavino, maybe. Oh, Lord. Hell no. Those are horrible numbers. Um... I'll come back to that. Well, let's see. How did Justin Wilson do? As well. What is going on with everybody here not doing good? And then Brian. No, I don't see. He's not that exciting. Um, I don't know. I don't see anybody crazy. Hmm. Ooh, I like that one. I definitely like this one. Wait, wrong guy. They don't want anything for him? Oh, well, it's probably money dump or dumping money for him. Hmm. Let's see. Brandon. Braden. Wade Miley. I haven't seen that guy in a while. Um, how did Dylan Batanzas do? Probably horrible. Yeah, he could have done better. How about this guy? Nate. All right, we'll do this trade, especially for money dump, whatever. And get ourselves a reliever and Mr. Dylan Batanzas. It's not bad. Um, let's see out of our prospects, who do we got that would look worthy to bring up? Maybe Josh James? I don't know, really, because he doesn't look too, doesn't look too promising. Well, um, let's check it out. So, uh, starters, we do need a big time starter. Uh, we got Syndergaard, we got Kluber, we got uh, Lance, we got Max, who did great still, Baxton, who did horrible, we got Verlander, we got Drew Smiley. Well, we got a, a decent, decent options. Most of the people that are out there is one of ours. Um, relievers, we only need one more. Um, Green hasn't pitched at all. Corey did good. He wants 6.6 .6 too. Dan didn't do that well. How about David? Not that well. Brandon. Brandon is really, he's, he's a quiet, good reliever. I'm going to have to say that. Um, David Robertson hasn't pitched. Uh, he did solid. He pitched a lot of innings too. How about Craig? Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. We got relievers. We don't need any. We already got ours. So if I do, it's probably going to be like for the minor league since it's there's never any. Catchers, we don't need that. First base, we do got a couple. Ooh, Brandon Bell. How he do? <whistles> That's not bad. That is not bad. And he only wants 5.8 million. That's not bad. How about Jed? He didn't play at all. What the world? He didn't play at all? 
And he only wants 3.9. How about Edwin? Edwin hasn't played either. Second base, we got that under control. Third base as well. Shortstop is where we got to look at. So we definitely got a loaded offseason of shortstops. We got Tra uh, Trevor Story, Javier Baez, Lindor. We got Seager, who did phenomenal. Um, we got Simmons, who's one of the best. Um, Marcus Simeon, uh, Jose Iglesias. How he do? Not bad. And then we got Freddie. Outfield, we're loaded. I don't. We don't need an outfielder for a long time. Um. So, I'm thinking we're gonna have to go shortstop, first base, and starter. We're gonna need a reliever. We'll easily probably handle that so i'm gonna make a couple signings hopefully things go well and i'll see you guys at the beginning of the season all right guys so um we made we spent some big money like this off season we pulled uh, old style yankees now we didn't go too crazy but we spent some cash um and our cash flow the crazy part is still solid um so it's it's good. So first of all, we got Noah Syndergaard on a two, year, excuse me, two year club option deal, uh, fifty five million dollars. I think it is. He's gonna be our ace. We also got Anthony for a one year deal, two point four to be our number five. We got Brandon to be our long reliever for three million dollars. Um, let me see because actually I kind of don't want him to be our long reliever. Um, offense, this is where it comes crazy. So we signed Corey Seager to a seven year, $200 million contract. He will be our shortstop. We also got Freddie Freeman for, I think it was, I really don't remember, but we got him. He has player option in his contract. He'll be our first baseman. So this team offensively is stacked. Now the part where I'm like a bit iffy on is the pitching. Alex Bragman, one thing. Jose Abreu won it. Wow. He, he had to do phenomenal, dude. Um, who won Cy Young, Kenta Maeda? That's weird. Um, but, yeah, so we're ranked first, sixth in all of baseball. Our pitching is ranked 12th. So, I don't know. It's looking offense. We're good. Defense as well. A speed, so. I hope the pitching can hang on. So I'll see you guys at the all-star break. All right, guys. So we are currently 67 and 29. We're in first place, ranked sixth in all of baseball still. Awesome to see. Syndergaard is doing phenomenal. Uh, Valdez could be doing better. Jose as well. Forrest Whitley as well. And then Anthony is doing phenomenal as well. Um, bullpen, he's doing great. He's doing great. Awesome. Awesome. Could be a little bit better. Awesome. The bullpen is what's carrying this team. And then two really starters. Lineup is probably what's really carrying. Michael Brantley is doing phenomenal. Kyle Tucker could be doing better. Corey Seager is doing phenomenal, as well as Jordan Alvarez. Freddie Freeman as well. Trey Mancini is doing good. Uh, Bragman, awesome. Fine really with the offense we got not bad you're still developing i'll let you slide so our bench is not doing that bad so um i don't know really because i know i'm what i'm seeing is our um our starters are a bit off and we only got one draft pick which makes sense and it was a lefty who's 88 overall which is good to see um, but you know, really down there, we don't got anybody that can go like, dang, let's check the trading block here who we could possibly get. We could possibly come bring back Charlie Morton, maybe. And then 6.8, maybe we can do a Jose. I kind of like. I kind of like Jose. I think he's a solid. He shouldn't be a number three. 
Forrest Whitley, he could be doing better. Oh, Tyler Glass now is on the Braves? God, Lord. That team's got a rotation. Ooh, you know what? Valdez, is, his things doesn't even go that high anymore. Um, You know what? I think we could work out a deal with the Braves here. We really could. Um, I just got to figure out who's the right guy. All right. Um, I need somebody with a bigger contract. That's not, you know... Uh, you know what? Could I take him out? No, I don't want to take him out. I don't know, really. I don't want to take Pedro, though. Pedro has been really consistent for us. All right, so they won a lot. For Mr. Mike Soroka, which is crazy. Which, I don't blame them, though. If we're going to be real honest, if Soroka keeps doing how he's doing, it's going to be tough. That's for sure. Um, I don't know. I do want to trade. I, I want to trade somebody who I know will be consistent coming back. Andrew is not doing pretty bad for the Angels, if we're going to be realistic here. But he has a pretty big contract, and we can't afford. We could get Kenta Maeda. A Cy Young winner. And just give him somebody like that. We could do that. So we gave up Jose. Oh, Jose Urania. Damn, dude. That's great for him. Uh, first base, we're fine with. Relievers. Do we need a lefty? Because if to say, then we could just do something like that. Um, we can do something like that. And then get probably, oh lord. Um... Do we need a lefty, though? That's the question. We got Joe Smith, who's a righty. Blake Taylor, a lefty. We probably do. All right. You know what? I'll do that just to get rid of Batances and how horrible he's been doing. We'll do that. And then we'll put Maeda in here. I want to keep Anthony. Force Whitley, I hope he could do better. Um, Valdez, I'm going to keep. So I'm going to run it like this for now. Um, Aaron Loop, hopefully he can continue how he's doing. Yeah, we definitely needed lefty. I just realized we were stacked on righties. Now, the lineup, I want to look at something. I'm, I'm fine with the outfield. I think Kyle Tucker... His hitting stats, he's still young. He's developing. He's doing great. Um, I just, I'm kind of iffy with second base because Straw isn't doing the best. Um, but I don't know. I kind of do want to keep him, though, because, you know, he's still doing great. So it's like here and there, a one, two, three. I'm just really focused on the pitching. I'm hoping our pitching can do better. Now we're ranked ninth. So hopefully that continues on, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, guys. So we finished 113 and 49. We'll be taking on the wild card winner. Um, so let's take a look because that's great. Ranked fifth, our pitching went up too. So Corey Seager went off, as we can tell. Uh, one MVP. Wow, this is crazy, dude. 
Um, so Syndergaard did phenomenal. Uh, Valdez brought it down, did great. Kenta Maeda did good. Whitley did good. And Anthony did phenomenal. Bullpen was a bit off. Aaron Loop did do good. And Joe Smith, Ryan as well, Pedro. Blake Taylor could have done better. Brandon, he did phenomenal. And he could have done better. I don't know. Lineup, Brantley, that is great numbers. That is God numbers. Kyle Tucker, average could be higher. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Um, good. And that's fine. All right, this is not bad, man. It's not bad, so... See who we're taking on here. Game one, the Astros. So game one, Syndergaard versus Griffin. Lost that one. What the hell? Uh, Valdez versus Dylan. Won that. Kentamaida versus Jose. Won that. Whitley versus Andrew. Won that one. Good. We got Tampa. So Anthony versus Ryan. Won that. Syndergaard versus uh, Chirinos. Won that. We got Valdez versus Michael. Lost that one. Damn. Kentamaida versus Chris Archer. Won that. Whitley versus Tanaka. Awesome. We're going up against San Diego here. You know what? No. Let's do that. And then let's do that. And then let's do that. All right. We got Syndergaard game one. Won that one. Valdez game two. Won that. Maeda game three. Won that. And Anthony versus Mike. Won that. Astros have won the World Series. Let's see who went off here. Who did phenomenal. Corey Seager and Jordan Alvarez, it looks like. Uh, pitching side of things was good. Uh, let's see. Um, offense looks like Seager went off, as well as Jordan, as well as Freeman. Also Bregman and um, Bench, you know, didn't play at all, it looks like. Man, I'm going to say this. This was a good team, dude. Um, I don't think anybody could say no. This was a good team. And, you know, we're done here, by the way. Um, this was a good team. And, like, the pitching wasn't even, like, that good. And it, it surprised me because it had me worried at the beginning. Just from experience now, it had me worried that, you know, it was going to, like, for uh, force Whitley and Anthony uh of Valdez was have was gonna have an ERA above four but this team with pitching is is still good man um we definitely did get a new pitching coach though so you know and then our cash flow is doing great money is great on this team I'm surprised um you know first time I've had a 6.40 million slash you know cash flow flow per week and then look at it now and we don't got to extend anybody too crazy except for like a michael brantley um we'd have to bring up Syndergaard and presley brantley that dude's great man um and then we didn't have to bring back anybody crazy trey mancini wanted 9.1 .1. that was fine so i definitely did enjoy it i will say that i did enjoy rebuilding this team i think Literally off the money we spent, you know, it made him a god tier, but it's it's nice to see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, give it a like, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, please. We need to get to at least 100 subscribers. 